Welcome to this video tutorial about the Dollybar ERP and CRM system. In this video, we will look at how to use the Stocks module in Dollybar. Prerequisites Activate the module stocks from menu Home, Setup, Modules. You may also want to activate the module Product Lots. Note that the Products module is activated automatically when the Stocks module is activated. Grant permission on the Stocks and Products modules for your users. For more advanced information on how to set up permissions to users, you can watch our video Users, Groups and Permissions. Stock Allocation the Stock Management module saves the current quantity, status and movement of products that are stocked in warehouses. Apply the Stock to Low filter to view the products that are having stock less than the desired stock. You can create a warehouse from the respective menu. A warehouse is a location where products are received at or stocked and shipped from. While creating a product, the stock allocation parameters are also captured. Choose a default warehouse where the product is usually stocked. Specify a stock limit if you want to be notified when the stock limit is reached. Specify the desired quantity you want to get when performing automatic replenishment. For any product, the stocking information is available under the Stock tab. This includes all stocking parameters, as well as warehouses. Each product has two values of stock, real stock, which is also known as physical stock, and virtual stock. Real stock is the real quantity you have in your warehouse. Virtual stock is the stock you will have once all pending operations that influence the stock will be processed, such as pending orders, shipments, manufacturing orders, etc. Purchase orders, sales orders, shipments and invoices can automatically update the virtual product stock or the real stock when the orders, shipments or invoices are fulfilled. The processes that change stocks depend on your setup of the stock module. You must configure the setup according to your needs. Stocks module features When your stock arrives, or when any stock leaves the warehouse, click on the appropriate button to update the stock by means of stock correction. Choose the warehouse and choose whether to add or delete stock. Enter the number of units and unit purchase price. If the module project is enabled, you can choose a project. Finally, enter a label and inventory code for capturing the stock movement. You can transfer stock from one warehouse to another by clicking on the appropriate button. Choose the source warehouse, the target warehouse and the number of units to be transferred. Note that if you have created product variants, then the stock correction and stock transfer options are available only on those product variants and not on the original product. Stock correction and stock transfer are considered as stock movements and can be tracked from the movements list view. The mass stock transfer menu option allows you to move stock from one warehouse to another. Replenishment is a list of all products that have stock that is lower than the desired stock. Choose a product by ticking the checkbox to create a purchase order to fill the difference. There are also plenty of other features that can be enabled from the module setup. Also, like most other Dolly Bar modules, you can add your own custom fields to describe your product stock define default values or mandatory fields and you can use the import or export modules to import or export your product stock database. 
Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Visit www.dolibar.org to learn more.